So if I can share just some things that you can do as an advocate without having a lot of money, first of all, if you have an interfaith council in your community, you can really get involved with them to advocate for Habitat for Humanity because most interfaith councils uh, are looking for things to do that line up with the scriptures. Also, you can advocate by going to the meetings and meeting with the Chamber of Commerces in your community, the service clubs such as Rotary and uh, Kiwanis Lions Club. They may not all be in a position to give monetary donations, but they have members who may be willing to give tax-free contributions or in-kind contributions. Uh, they may be willing to sponsor an event, a fundraising event. You know, that's another way that you can advocate. One of the main things that I found very successful that worked for me and it will work for others, attend the city council meetings in your community. Talk one-on-one -on -one with the mayor and the council people and work to get a commitment from the city council, the mayor, for money. Many of them have housing trust funds. Work to get a commitment from them to use that money, give some of that money to Habitat for Humanity to build houses for those in need, as well as uh, get their support. Once a community sees that the mayor and the council is behind uh, this effort, it uh, encourages other people who some may not have even known about Habitat for Humanity. And then the other way that you can advocate, which doesn't involve having to give a lot of money, is to encourage members of your, of your congregation. They may only have a small amount of money to give, but you know it does add up and you, you've never refused money no matter how much it is. So do that, encourage them to give, uh, make in-kind donations such as they can donate a door. They can donate uh, some two by fours. They can donate some windows. You know, it's all types of in-kind donations that are acceptable. Just as important is encourage members of your congregation, particularly some of the younger members who are looking for ministry opportunities along with seniors, I mean, but I'm, I'm using young adults because sometimes they say we don't have anything to do, to volunteer their time. Go to a, a, a on-site bill and volunteer their time. You don't have to be a uh, master carpenter. You don't have to be a master electrician. You don't have to be a master plumber because there are people there that will uh, show you what needs to be done. If you can uh, lift a hammer and, and and, and nail a nail, there's some area that you can work in to uh, be a part of this. So advocacy is critical because all of the money in the world, if it's not being uh, used, it just does nothing. But the more people you can get involved in your community, the better it is. And it does build community. It really uh, brings people together.